And back again. Just gonna finish off this quest that I was on last time. Uh, this is episode three. I'm up to level four. Uh, better start my timer. There we go. Now I'll know when 10 minutes is up. Probably gonna change that to 15 for these uh, for these episodes of the uh, let's play here. Oh, I'm just gonna hit your face with my sword so hard. I know it's actually an axe, but whatever. Deal with it. So I gotta go take these quests back, sting of the scorpion, and back to the den. Ah, I gotta get these done. Then they're gonna send me over to some cave to uh, to kill some demons. Oh man, I'm getting yawn. <sighs> I'm tired. It's pathetic. It's only 7:30 at night. I think that's the right time. It is. I'm on an East Coast server. And I'm oh. Pacific. Okay. Let's hand you in here. To Gornick. Is that his name? Gornick. And I think I'll take the boots. You know what? I haven't even put on my new armor, I don't think. And for this one... Let's take the belt. And that fancy dancy bag that he's going to give me. Let's uh, put this clothing on. What do I have down there? Let's look at my character pain. This belt is 30 armor, and this belt is 18 armor. Let's put on the boots. So, I have this other pretty cool mod, which uh, I'll show to you here. Hopefully it works properly. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't sell what I have on me. What's it, what is this worth? Uh, yeah, it's going to want to sell. Well, let's just see. So this sells all of my junk items. Uh, so when I click it, yep, everything there got sold that was in my bags that was considered to be junk. Uh, so you don't really have to think about it too much. You can set up the mod to only sell items that uh, that you would want it to to sell, or that you don't want it to sell. So if you have specific uh, items that you want to keep, you can tell it to not ever sell that item on you, so you don't sell it by mistake. Some people like gray items for uh, looks and whatnot. So you can always uh, you can always do that too. Man, it's frustrating that I can't read these. I uh, have to find someone in the Valley of Trials. There's a quest over here for me. Greetings. Can't read what it is again. This is one where I have to go get the demons. So let's take a look at the map here. One's over here. The demons are over there. So I'll be back when I get to where I'm going. And there he is, same guy laying under the tree, dying. Groans in pain. So that's done, and now I get to go kill these demons. I'll wreck some uh, some scorpids on the way. May as well. Uh, might buy myself a weapon or something like that. I've got probably about. 60 gold on my other character uh, that I can spend, and I wouldn't mind having something. Uh, you want again? Having something better than what I have now. I love charge. It's got to be one of the best abilities in the game. It's just so much fun. That and death grip. I always thought the death grip was so much fun on my death knight. Actually, you know what? I used to really like tanking with my death knight. Also, he was a lot of fun to tank with. Just did a ton of damage back then. Don't know if they still do, but it was sort of ridiculous. Completely overpowered for PvP at the time also. Are they still? Anybody know? I don't know. I really have a feeling people aren't going to be interested in this, but uh, we'll see. Oh, look at me walking! I'm a vile familiar. And I have lots of earrings in my ears. It's not even hard yet, this game. It's not even a challenge. I 
feel like I have unlimited rage. Look at that. Let's try taking like two. Now I'm kind of thinking I might turn off the reverbs so that the echoing doesn't happen in these caves. It's kind of annoying. Let's f blood fury out here. Losing my voice a little bit. Don't need to kill any of these guys yet, but they will send me back there to do so. I'm actually leveling up fairly quickly right now. Now I've done about 25 minutes. Uh, probably about. Mm, you know what? I don't know how much time I've done worth of Let's Plays so far for this series. This is only episode number three, with about four minutes remaining. Uh, so I've probably done somewhere around 25 to... Yeah, probably 25 minutes of gaming, and I'm up to level four. My, my play time doesn't count, because I spent uh, a lot of time just messing with my mods and whatnot. So an hour and 10 minutes and 32 seconds isn't exactly accurate. Sorry, bunny, but... It's time to get hurt. There's hares and there's rabbits, and they pretty much look alike. They're just slightly different in color. Nice thing about critters is that they keep your rage up if you're a warrior. Just go ahead and whack them every once in a while, and you keep your rage going. And there's level, there's level five. And uh, I wonder if I'm gonna get any new abilities here. Oh, I already did. Victory Rush. I don't know if I have to talk to this guy or not. I think it's just going to give it to me. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure I just got that. And what was that about pet training? Battle pet training. It allows you to train, fight, and track battle pets. Interesting. It says to see my trainer about that. Strength and honor. Pretty sure this is a warrior trainer. Doesn't say anything about it. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so what do I want to get here? Uh, what was it that they gave me? No, oh, look at that. They already put it in my uh, in my bar. So I'm gonna have to start looking at the quests here. It's the only place I can actually read them. Thrall's pick. Okay, so this quest and the Burning Blade Medallion uh, are both in the same place. So I'll run ahead and do those. Uh, when I get up here to the cave over there, I'll be back. Alright, so uh, I'm going to finish off these quests in here, and uh, then I'll call this an episode. i uh, got to work my way through this cave and uh, collect a pick, as well as kill uh, these guys here. And I also need to kill the, uh, or sorry, gather the medallion, collect the medallion from uh, the little mini boss, I guess, who's in here. I guess that's what you'd call him as a mini boss. This is one of those places where these fell stalkers, I never thought that there was enough of them. Uh, I used to end up needing to just wait around to actually kill them even when I was by myself, so. I don't recall if that's something that they've uh, changed with this last update or not. Uh, it could just be that when I used to play, there's always a lot of other people around to uh, taking everything on me. Man, I love the warrior. So much fun. Now, I could just be killing these guys and... Uh, and getting a little bit of extra XP. But by doing that, it's going to drag this episode on and on and on. It seems like there's going to be enough Fell Stalkers in here. And I'm fairly sure a little boss. What's this? Looks like he might be over there. Now, there should be a little timer on here that lets me know when the next time, like how long it's cooldown is if I have it. I don't know if I have, see here, I can have a timer show up, I believe, to let me know how much longer is on that cooldown. 
And there's the boss that I want. And I'm just going to collect him, just in case someone else tries to come in here and get him first. Eat it, Yarog! Feel my blade upon your flesh. And that guy's dead. And so is his little pet. So I've collected the medallion. I've killed the uh, the fell stalkers, and now what I need to do is collect the uh, pickaxe. Oh, not gonna work by going through there. It's a dead end. As many of these caves are, I can't jump up there. Sometimes you'll jump down here and find little underwater treasures. Uh, in here, sometimes I think you can actually find a chest, possibly. I might be wrong. But there are many little secrets like that. Uh, I used to play this game a lot, guys. So if you have any questions about the way WoW used to be, uh, you can ask me. I've leveled past level 60. I know I've leveled a hunter, a mage, a warlock, a rogue twice, uh, a shaman, a... what else? A uh, priest. I got the uh, Anathema staff back when it was actually something amazing to have. I remember being one of the first people on the old server that I was on to get that. And it was just an incredible feat, and it felt so amazing to have it. So with the Quell Serar, I believe it's called. Quell, Quell something. Is it Quell Serar? The, uh, the sword that the war warriors used to get forged by Anixia's Breath. Uh, that was something else that I also remember getting and being one of the first people to have it and uh, Felt so awesome to have that also when it looked so cool at the time uh, The destroyer of worlds was another one of those weapons that he got from Zolgarov that was just this big two-handed sword that uh, I used to just be able to charge at people and and just wreck them uh, In PvP fights with it and every, everything seemed so much more fun back then uh, I think I'm running in the wrong direction. No, no, I'm good going the right way. Uh, the game has changed a lot and everything has kind of, you know, been a little different. When when I used to play on my shaman, uh, I played a lot of PvP on him and this is at level 60. And playing the shaman at level 60, I could wreck everybody. I think I got up to, back then you had command ranks, I can't remember what they have now, it's, it's different. But uh, it was based on who on the server had the most, uh, uh, I forget what it is, like honor, I think, at the end of the month or something, and uh, end of the Strength. week maybe it was, how, how much of a level you gained in your, uh, in your, in your PvP rank, and I got up to the commander where I got like a mount for like 100 gold instead of a thousand or something like that, and uh, I was also able to get um, different armor, like better PvP armor and all around armor really. Uh, depending on your, your level. I never got to the point where I was getting the epics. I was directly below that and used to have to spend so much time playing that it took up so much of my life, I just gave up. Uh, the people that were doing really well at that point used to have to play uh, literally, like, some people were playing like 20 hours a day uh, trying to keep their PvP rank as high as possible and the, the new system is obviously a lot better than that old one. It, uh, it rewarded people for having no life rather than for having skill and it wasn't uh, it wasn't a good way to go about PvP. So I'm gonna cut this episode off. I have to go and report to Senjin Village, which is uh, a little bit of a waddle down down this way here. It's gonna bring me over to uh, to this area right oh, wait right over here where this big uh, question mark is, and uh, that's where I'm gonna head to next, guys. And I'm gonna start doing some quests, pick up some training for uh, professions, and do all that good stuff. One thing that I'm confused about is why my pets aren't in my mail. I thought that all my mini pets were supposed to be mailed to me all the time whenever I restart a new character. If I go into my other characters, I had pets that were mailed to me, so I might have to... I might have to uh, put in a support ticket on that one. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next episode.